Virgo, how are you guys? I hope you're doing super well. Um, my comments are off for a little bit. I'll turn them back on eventually. I'm not doing personal readings right now. If you'd like to tip me in the very bottom of my description, I have my Venmo and my PayPal. Thank you so much to everybody that has. And my shop is reopened and everything is restocked and I have some new products out. So um, I have my new oils here. I have one that raises your vibration. These are anointing oils. So this one has amethyst in it. It's a really pretty lavender gold sheen. Um, I love this one. It's beautiful. I have one for breaking uh, spells, so this gets rid of any hexes or jinxes. Um, I do have existing anointing oils for cutting soul ties, and I have another one for returning to cinder. So I made just a general spell breaker because not everybody wants to do a return to cinder. Not everybody knows exactly who's been doing the spell work on them. So the spell breaker can just get rid of those that are on you without going through the whole um, doing a return to cinder on somebody else, trying to figure out who did it, that type of thing. Um, I have my ancestor work. So I already make it an ancestor prayer candle. So I made oil for you guys that want to use it as an anointing oil. You just anoint your body, you anoint things around your house, you anoint your um, altars. You can use it in ceremonies, you can use it as an offering to your ancestors. And then um, my guardian one, this one I'm really excited about. The higher vibration one is my like favorite because it's just, it's really pretty and I'm really happy with how it turned out. This one I think is the coolest one that I have so far. For me right now, it's what I'm resonating with. So the guardian one connects you with your uh, spiritual team, with your higher self, and it helps, oh, my hair. <laughs> it's always like this front piece that drives me crazy. It helps um, connect you with your higher self and also your highest path. So it really helps to align you with your spiritual team and um, you know what your spiritual team would like for you to know. It, it helps to release any lower attachment so that you can realign with your highest path. So I really, really like that. And, um, you know, it's an anointing oil, so you can anoint your body if you want to. These are all natural. They're handmade by me. Um, essential oils, carrier oils, a blend of different ones that resonate with what I'm going for, crystals, and then herbs in them. But um, some people can be allergic to uh, essential oils and not know it. Um, none of the carrier carrier oils I use are very reactive, but you never know. I once had a like very intense allergic reaction to goji berry extract, so <laughs> you really don't know. So if you're gonna use them on yourself, make sure you test them. I have very sensitive skin and I have never had an allergic reaction, but you never know. And if you're somebody that knows that you're allergic to an essential oil or a carrier oil, just message me. I have it on my Etsy shop to where anytime you're purchasing an oil, it will like prompt you to let me know. I don't think that I can do that on my like regular website because I, I have things for sale on both. Um, but just like email me and let me know. I make them all to order so I, I can fix it to where it won't have what you're allergic to. You know, some people are allergic to like cinnamon or peppermint and um, you know, those are common essential oils used in things. So sometimes I don't even use them in that one, but it, it's good if you know you're allergic to, allergic to something or somebody that you're purchasing for is. Just let me know and I can uh, make sure that it's not in there. Okay, anyways, we're gonna see what you guys have coming in, Virgo. I have other products too. It's just what I have on my desk right now. And I wanted to use my, um, guardian one because I really like it and what's nice about them is that you know they're just all natural oils so you can use them like on your hands as like a uh, cuticle you know conditioner you can use them like to moisturize be careful about like on your face just because you know I'm not making them specifically for your face you never know, just do like a test patch if you're gonna do that. I do it on my, like, I anoint my third eye sometimes. Okay, Nine of Cups is the first card out. Five of Wands, Three of Wands. So you're trying to focus on uh, what you want. Nine of Cups is wishes fulfilled, but it's also like a selfish card. So what you specifically want for yourself. Five of Wands is a card of competition, chaotic energy, Three of Wands, waiting for something to come in. 
two of uh, pentacles, but there is a back and forth type energy. Somebody is unsure, uncertain, and feels <coughs> eight of swords stuck in their head about it. So you're trying to make a decision about something. You kind of know that you need to make a decision. Something is going to happen. It's in the air here, but you're um, not sure what you want. And you're trying to make a decision based on what you want specifically. But there's chaotic energy around you that's interfering and you feel kind of stuck in your head here. Page of Swords. I mean, not <laughs> Page of Swords. I meant page of Wands, Page of Swords. The High Priestess. There's something that you don't know. Or for some, so the high priestess is somebody that um, knows everything but doesn't say anything. With the page of swords, then the high priestess, it's a, the page of swords is, can be stalking, social media stalking. High priestess is like a Googling card as well, like, you know, searching for answers here, but silently. It's also, um, the moon is like things hidden. The high priestess is like secrets. Again, somebody knowing information that they're not sharing here. The chariot after that, queen of swords, the world. The emperor at the bottom of the deck, six of wands, strength card. The fool. Somebody needs to free themselves and eight of cups walk forward here. There might even be some ghosting. <laughs> six of uh, swords is a ghosting energy, you know, moving into calm calmer waters, but it's usually, you know, in the night secretly. Somebody is wanting to move forward in their life, but there, there are uh, cycles that need to be uh, closed out here. I just realized I forgot to tell Taurus the signs. <laughs> I have uh, Leo, Aries, Libra, Cancer. Saturn is here, so possibly a Capricorn. The High Priestess is a Pisces. It's a Pisces energy. Okay. Let me get into your energy. You're needing to walk away from things here. You're needing to free yourself. There's chaotic energy around you Virgo that's impeding your ability to make a decision somebody is like stuck in their head weighing options going back and forth it's like one day you make a decision you want to do one thing the next day you're changing your mind um with the five of wands there's a lot of um energy interfering here you're trying to like silently gather the information that you need on what you want to go towards but there are cycles that you need to close out and you need to free yourself i get that somebody is a little bit impulsive and it's because they like to control things you're trying too much to control the outcome of this situation you care a lot about um how you're viewed by others and you want to come out on top in this situation but whoever this is, is like spending a lot of their time. It's like you are, like I said, it's like you make a decision and then you change your decision and you're like back and forth, back and forth. And you're creating more confusion for yourself here. You know that you need to release things and move forward in your life. There's a feminine, there's a masculine and a feminine energy here. The feminine energy, um, wants communication from the masculine energy, but the masculine energy is quiet right now. They might be trying to close cycles in their life and trying to figure out what they wanna walk away from, but for somebody, I get that the masculine is like kind of selfish. They're just kind of like a selfish person or they're in a selfish energy here where they want to make the best decision for them. They're not really considering the other person here but they're either watching the feminine energy or the feminine energy is watching them. It might be that the feminine energy is um, taking a step back from the masculine until the masculine energy decides what they want. Or for some, it's a situation where this masculine is trying to decide between moving forward in their life or going back towards 
uh, um, feminine energy that's a little bit verbally abusive towards them, that's very cold, that's a karmic energy. A couple different storylines here. I messed up this deck. Of like cold and selfish though but it's really because like they feel like they need to control the situation I don't really get um, a loving energy here though I mean there might be but I, I get somebody is more so in a very selfish state and they have a lot of chaotic energy around them yeah Yeah, the masculine energy here does have feelings for, uh, you know, a feminine, but they're not willing to change at all. They're very stubborn and set in their ways. And like I was saying, they're kind of selfish and feel very controlling. This is not a high vibrational masculine energy here. This emperor is a low vibrational emperor that wants to control everything. And they're resisting this feminine energy because they want to, you know, it's an energy here where if it's, you know, someone that I could possibly be with, I don't know if I even want to try with this person because what if I try and it doesn't work out? So I would rather just kind of go cold on them and focus on money here. But this person is like, with Malady, I get like, they're kind of like, it's not so much like sick. I get that they're like, trying to focus on themselves, trying to focus on what they want, but they're like, might be having nightmares or they're up at night sick. They're like worrying themselves sick here. For some, um, the feminine energy used to be more tolerant of this behavior and used to try to like win this masculine over and they've kind of pulled back now and they're not doing that anymore and it has this masculine kind of upset because they thought that they could kind of go back and forth with this feminine and this feminine would continue to try to like, you know, cater to them. Yeah, wait on them, try to... Um, you know, they, they thought that this feminine what feelings were enough to keep them like basically stuck waiting on this masculine or maybe with the emperor coming out that's what this like um person thinks is like how a masculine should behave in a relationship you know i focus on money i go cold and they're still going to chase me yeah they're um <laughs> they're creating chaotic energy in their life here because they're trying to fight their feelings and they're creating misfortune in their life because they're um <laughs> they are supposed to align with love this masculine energy has a feminine that has been brought into their life like divine order it was meant to meet this feminine was meant to be with this feminine this masculine is more focused on money and just likes to control things. It might even be a situation where this person doesn't really like to get into relationships because they don't like to feel vulnerable. They don't like to feel like, you know, this person might hurt me. This person might, you know, if they've been cheated on before, they've been embarrassed. They don't want to go through that again. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretending to like, you know, be fine, enjoy themselves here, but it's, it's, they're not really happy because they can't stop thinking about conversation, the last conversation they had with this feminine energy, or they can't stop thinking about how to talk to this feminine energy. And it's like worrying them sick here. And under the five of wands, they might even be worried that there's somebody else. They might have some competition, whether that is real or perceived.
yeah, they they might feel like they have competition or they do have competition for this feminine, but they feel stuck. It's like they almost don't want to fight for this relationship. They just don't want to try for the relationship at all. It's a weird energy I'm getting, Virgo. With Leo here, this person just might have a really big ego, especially with Leo and the Emperor. This person might just have like a really big ego. Um, somebody might be waiting for like a housing situation. Be careful though, because what is coming out under the three of wands, um, house, thief, and then sorrow. So be careful if, um, you live in like a uh, area where there's been some break-ins recently, or, you know, you loan out your key to people, you might want to change your locks. My guides are saying that somebody did change their locks, but this person, uh, that there's somebody here that, that might try to rob your house, especially if like they know you're trying to save money and you keep cash, be careful. Somebody keeps like cash under their bed, my guides are saying. And um, it, for a lot of you, it's an ex or somebody that you were hooking up with. This person might have had a key to your apartment or they would like get into your apartment a lot. You might have like, for some it's a back door that isn't very... <laughs> my guides say it is their back door. They're going to be really freaked out that you knew that. For some of you, it's like a back door that this person knows. Like, there's a trick to get in. You might have even, like, told this person that, like, oh, if you're locked out, this is how you get in. <laughs> Somebody's planning to uh, try to rob you here. It's somebody that you're close to. It's, it's not a random person. They're saying female. I asked woman and they said female. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody is planning to take money from you. Some of you keep money under your bed in, in a shoe box. <laughs> that's not very smart. <laughs> yeah, my guy said that that's not a very good place to keep your money. Uh, whoever, it's somebody that you used to, used to hook up with her. You gave her a secret of how to get into your uh, apartment for most of you. I don't know. For whoever this is resonating with, for some of you, it's a back door that's, like, kind of old. And, like, they know how to, like, jimmy it in a certain way to get in. <laughs> My guy said for uh, somebody to jimmy it is the word that they use for it. <laughs> they said that's funny. They're going to be freaked out that you knew that. <laughs> Don't keep your money in a shoebox under your bed. A more obvious place that could be. Don't put it in the closet either, they say. <laughs> this person knows the... Um, they're saying this person knows the shoebox that you keep it in. This is somebody that like you would have over to your house a lot. And like when you would go to the bathroom, they would go through your stuff. Or if you like were at work and you told them that like, you know, oh yeah, just go over and I'll meet you when I get there. They would like go over to your house and like go through your things. Or just talking to my guides. They told me something else, but they said not to say it because it's going to freak somebody out and it, it's not a problem anymore. But they're saying that they they found the shoebox. So don't just move the shoebox and don't put it in another shoebox because they know that they're looking for a shoebox. And if they can't find it under your bed, the first place they're going to look is in your closet. They said there's for some of you, there's somewhere safer downstairs you could put it. Be careful, though, if you have, like, a, a creepy karmic that, you know, watches me, too. Some of you do. Yeah, it's a narcissistic type energy here. It's a narcissist. You know that. You know that they're narcissists. You've recently realized that they're a narcissist. This person's messaging you a lot.
My guides are like my guides and I are discussing in my head where we should tell you to put the money right now and we're like going back and forth and I'm like asking them different places. They're like, no, don't tell them that. For some of you they're they're saying it's better to just keep it in your car, but that's not really a safe place. <laughs> we have to move past this. Bury it at your mom's house. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Whoever keeps uh, their savings in a shoebox under your bed, the person that you've been like, we're hooking up with for a while. Yeah, it's um, somebody that you know you found out was spreading a lot of lies about you. It's because this person is a narcissist. They've been uh, messaging you a lot lately, trying to get you to go back out with them, trying to get you to hang out with them. They're being pretty forceful about it. This person is an enemy. They're trying to, you're juggling if you wanna get back with them or move forward. They're saying that this masculine energy is not even thinking about if they want to be in a relationship with the new person or not. They're just focused on whether or not they should move forward from this like past person. They're saying it was a fuck buddy, but it got kind of serious. And now this person is coming back and they're kind of harassing you being forceful. For some of you, this person literally like showed up on your doorstep this past weekend. They might have tried to give you food. They put they put roots in the food if they did. They're gonna try to talk to you about like how much they care about you. Again, <laughs> for somebody, they're like making you food and bringing it to your house. Yeah, look. <laughs> Size, constellation, sweetheart thought, room, money. This person that you're dealing with, <laughs> they feel like they have helped you out so much that they deserve something from you because you met somebody else that you actually love and they feel like you owe them something. So they're thinking about stealing money from you because they feel like, uh, because they're narcissists here. Narcissist does not do anything out of the love of, of their heart. They uh, do things so that you are obligated to them. If you've ever been involved with a narcissist, you know any narcissist, they will like randomly gift you really extravagant gifts. They will randomly take you on trips. They will randomly like do way too much for you to the point that it makes you a little bit uncomfortable. And then they're just like, oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. Or, oh, you can repay me later. <laughs> they do this already knowing what they're going to make you repay them. This person feels like because they, they've been there for you in the past and you know, whatever way they believe that they have with a narcissist, it's never really that they're being there for you. It's that they are gathering information from you. They are trying to set you up. They are trying to figure out a way that they can play you later. They feel like because you have ended the situation before they got to really take advantage of you the way that they were planning to, they are owed. <laughs> They're owed something from you and they feel like if they were able to steal this money from you, it would be like settle. So they are trying to act like everything is fine. Nothing's changed. <laughs> this is somebody that like you might have gotten into an argument with and you kind of told that you didn't want to hang out with them anymore. For some of them, they might have got pregnant by another person or they told you that they were pregnant and they weren't actually pregnant. You found out that they were lying about being pregnant. It was over a child, the fight. It was over pregnancy. So it's either they pretended to be pregnant to trap you to them, to get you to, you know, reject a, a real love here, or um, you found out that they got pregnant by another person. For some of you, they did get pregnant, but they um, got an abortion without telling you. <laughs> For some of you, <laughs> They uh, uh, they do a scam. This came up before. There was somebody that was doing a scam where they sleep around. They sleep with a lot of people. They have a lot of unprotected sex. 
um, you know, not telling people that they're doing this, obviously. So they occasionally, when they need extra cash, will fake a pregnancy and then text everybody that they were sleeping with that they're pregnant and they need money for an abortion. For some of you, the somebody tried to tell you that they were pregnant and they needed money for abortion, but you knew that the timing didn't add up, so you told them no. And now they're... <laughs> Because they wanted the money from you, look, because they wanted the money from you, they're planning to break into your house and steal the money from under your bed, specifically. For some of you, it's, it is in the closet. <laughs> they said it's in a shoebox. And I said, is for everybody? And they said it's always in a shoebox. So some of you, like, don't keep your money. Obviously, that's where it is. <laughs> Duh. That's <laughs> where, what did I say? Your money. <laughs> okay. I won't. I won't. Okay, stop. <laughs> For some of you, you're stuck in your head over like money and love. Like you, you feel like you have to choose between money or love. Uh, my guide, <laughs> she said, I can't tell you who I'm talking to. Um, she's saying for some of you, you literally feel like you do have to choose between money or love because the karmic that you were dealing with is telling you that you owe them money and that they're gonna try to like take you to court for the money if you go towards this love. Uh, my guide is saying for, for whoever that is, that is not a real accusation. They're lying to you, whatever proof they're saying that they have. Whatever proof that they're saying that they have, you know that they're lying, but they're telling you that they have some sort of proof and they're going to take you to court. It's not true. That is for, uh, she's saying that is for the person that knows they didn't do anything wrong, but this person is telling you that they're, they have some way of framing you. My guy says that if you actually do owe this person money, you know, take don't take that information because I'm not telling you that like... You don't owe the money when you know that they do. But if this is for somebody that this person is like accusing you of doing something and saying that they're gonna take you to court for money and they have like, they have a video of you, this person is like full of shit. They never had a video. They told you they had a video and um... Okay. <laughs> they told you they had a video of you doing something you don't remember doing this. You don't think that you did this, but you know, this person like scared you. They're telling you that they're going to try to take you to court, get money out of you from this. They're trying to like basically blackmail you with a video that does not exist. It's not a real video. It never happened. You know, it doesn't happen. It didn't happen. They're telling you that you were like drunk and you did something. Yeah. I was about to say to the car and then the chariot came out. Some of you, they're saying that like you got drunk and drove their car and crashed it and they have proof that you did that, but you, you were, you were drunk, but you didn't drive their car. For some of you, they're saying that they have you on camera, like vandalizing their car, keying their car when you were drunk. You don't remember doing this. They're saying that it was when you were out at a bar one night. It's a, the like guy's saying for some, it's a, a man that's accusing you of this. That you keyed their car, vandalized their car while you were out at a bar one night. You were actually drunk that night, but you don't recall this happening. That person's car was never actually at that bar. This person just found out that you were at that bar and they're uh, trying to blackmail you with this. <laughs> yeah, I know. She said that's, <laughs> you're done talking, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying. I don't know, guys. <laughs> she's 
She said it's a it's a guy, and for whoever um, whoever needed to hear that, they'll they'll know what I'm talking about. There's not an actual video, and you know that you never did that to their car, so don't allow them to like scare you or bully you with that. Somebody like leaned against the car and that person is saying that you damaged it. They don't, it's not gonna uphold in court though what they're claiming. Anyways. Moving forward here so that you can give an offer, but again, um, what do I need to know about? The Chariot, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups. So the like Ace of Wands, I mean, uh, <laughs> Knight of Wands here in between the love or money. Again, love or money. Somebody feels like they need to rush towards money. They feel like they need to have money before they can really make an offer. You really just need to move forward in your life and stop being stuck in this situation where like money is the most important thing to you because you're gonna get justice in this situation regardless. You just kind of need to see the truth about what, what has been going on and cut people out accordingly. You need to make a decision about this uh, third party here. A lot of you, it's a, a karmic feminine that uses spell work. This karmic feminine just tries to hold on to you to keep you from moving towards somebody that would actually be a good partner for you, for somebody that towards somebody that you could actually be with. What was coming up earlier is the chariot, which is unstoppable movement forward, queen of swords, and then the world. Look how she's blocking this. She's blocking movement forward towards closing cycles in your life. Again, blocking, uh, the queen of pentacles is wifey is, you know, a mother is somebody that you want to settle down with again, blocking. There's a, a feminine energy here that is, um, for some of you, it's a, it's a man, but they, they have a feminine energy to them where they're very passive, passive aggressive. This person does use spell work with the queen of wands coming out. They do sleep around a lot. Somebody just needs to see the truth in the situation and make a decision here to cut them out. And it's like, as soon as you do, you're going to get abundance coming towards you. But if you make a decision that you're going to remain in this like player energy and allow this karmic feminine to use you for sex while you focus on money, your life is going to be destroyed because this karmic feminine plans to steal from you. The whole, the whole relationship is this person setting you up to lose money and you've lost a lot of money. The reason you're experiencing financial hardship right now is because of this person, both because this person has set you up to lose money and this person does magic on you to lose money, to lose opportunities. For some of you, you were doing very well financially until this person came into your life and then you started to struggle financially. This person got you addicted, got you in with a bad crowd. And then it's like as soon as you get rid of this karmic, you start to do better. You start to attract better. And then it's like once you're doing better, she comes back. It's because this karmic intentionally blocks blessings from you, does not want to see you in a good relationship, and does not want to see you doing well financially. And again, like I was saying earlier, this specific karmic feels like they are owed money from you because they have been there for you in some way, but they were only there from, for you to begin with so that they could take from you. So this person literally sees your relationship as a transaction. I uh, make you food, you owe me money. <laughs> I come over to watch a movie for you, you owe me money. <laughs> I am there for you in any way, pay me. This person literally operates as a like, friendship relationship prostitute you have to pay me to spend time with you a woman of the night <laughs> a, <laughs> a fellow of the night she says okay that's that's it virgo 
somebody uh, just kind of feels like they need to control everything and is really worried about money and not moving forward in a legit, healthy, happy soul partnership because they feel like they need to focus more on money and they're considering going back to a karmic feminine to use for sex while they're focused on money this karmic feminine is planning to set them up and regardless what this person chooses they do need to get <laughs> get that money out of the shoebox that you have it in because she absolutely will steal it she knows how to get into your house you taught her how to get into your house for some of you um anyways that's that's your reading <sighs> I'm sorry. I'll see you again soon. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.